Welcome to your AFN Korea 2-Minute Report. I'm Army Sergeant Andrew Branstead. Military dependents enrolled in college got the chance to visit and learn about the history of the demilitarized zone before heading back to class. Airman Ross Whitley reports. Four college students traveled to see the demilitarized zone and learn why the armistice is in place. Lieutenant Commander Shin Fu Wu explains why the students were invited. To come and get an idea of what the demilitarized zone is about, why their parents um, are, are here working, and, and the purpose for which they're, they're here. During the trip, the group saw the last train station in South Korea, and Matt Schwab, a student of the University of Maryland University College, said the trip was eye-opening. Kind of common knowledge that North and South Korea are pretty tense. Um, but actually being able to come out and see the DMZ and kind of get up close and personal with it just gives you a whole new look at it. The group also visited the building where the armistice was signed and had the chance to cross the border into the north. Uh, the microphones in the middle of the table are monitored and recorded 24 hours a day. And uh, they also represent the military demarcation line of the room. So those of you standing on my left hand side are now standing in Congress North Korea, while everybody on the right is still in the Republic. That's been awesome. If you get the chance to take a trip out to the DMZ, whether it's with you know the USO or one of these uh, college trips, um, definitely take advantage of it. Airman Ross Whitley, the demilitarized zone, Korea. The students also walked through a portion of the third North Korean tunnel discovered by South Korea. That was your AFN Korea 2-Minute Report. I'm Army Sergeant Andrew Branstad.